morning, it's starting to snow. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Bon Iver, Holly. Bon Iver, Ed. Oh, the snow, the beautiful snow filling the sky and earth below. Over the housetops, over the street, over the heads of people you meet. Dancing, flirting, skimming along. Oh, the snow, the beautiful snow, how the flakes gather and laugh as they go. Whirling about in their maddening fun, it plays in its glee with everyone. Chasing, laughing, hurrying by, it lights on the face and it sparkles the eye. And even the dogs with a bark and a bound snap at the crystals that eddy around. The town is alive and its heart in a glow to welcome the coming of beautiful snow. It's happening, people. Say hi to the flakes. Hello, Mary Me Erase. Michelle Marie Tony and Women Your Ministra. And today we are first of all going to say Oh, the first snow of autumn here in New England. In fact, right now it's uh, it's supposedly is turning into sleet. Uh so it sounds like we didn't have a huge bump of crap of snowflakes. We certainly did not have twelve centimeters. No. But we got snow. We got the first snow of the season of autumn. Uh, like I told you it was kinda of be snowing before sowing. And uh, it did. And um no, I didn't get the rinse's rebate yard today. Um, technically, today was the first day that they were putting them in the mailbox. So, maybe tomorrow. Or maybe Saturday. Or Saturday. If I'm up on Saturday. And yeah, I got the mail today. It wasn't the check. Uh, I was watching Northern Exposure. Um, I do occasionally check out the the series it's hard to believe 1990 um i watched northern exposure pretty much um from its beginning to its end of the series and um i don't remember every episode I don't remember every detail, but there was one episode that I saw today where Shelly is feeling good about her baby, um, realizing that her daughter, her, at the time the episode was, she was 18 weeks pregnant. Um, and one of the things that she was singing and like Leonard the local medicine man pointed out is because you are feeling comfortable in her case in her pregnancy that everything was going to be fine granted she couldn't hold a hand and save her ass but that's not the point of the story um and then let me pause the de oh the video for a second. She said, "You know what? In some ways, I sense something similar with you too. That you're feeling that it's gonna work out fine." And I thought I would take the time to explain why I say that. As you may know, in the last few week, in the last few months, have been very difficult. There has been a lot of difficulties. Unfortunately. Um, the planning of the Berkeley Fund was kind of self-inflicted and bad management on my part. But this renter's rebate issue is completely different. It's not my fault at all that if the money comes late or not. I've done everything I can within reason to prepare and it's up to the powers to be to make sure that the, the check gets here in a timely manner. If we can get 
to check mail to us before Saturday, um, our cell phone service will not be interrupted. Because when I made payment arrangements to my cell phone bill, that was based on the 22nd, that the money was going to be through on the 22nd of the month. Well, you know, we found out later on that the rent rebate is not going to be here on the 22nd of the month whatsoever. Again, not my fault. I didn't have anything to do with that. I have no control over when they're dropping the letters or the checks into the mailbox. I just, um, I've done everything I can to prepare the bills. Exactly. And so Michelle's trying to say is, is that because she realizes that it's not her fault, she realizes that she feels a sense of calm that everything is going to be okay. Because she's done all she can. Right. Exactly. And um, so that takes care of that. And of course, what the snow made me feel good too. The snow gave me a strong sense of emotional. Um, snow is one of my favorite things. I love walking in it. And I got a chance to come home. And it was it was snowing pretty good. And I left the soup kitchen. And uh, so I came home. And I was so tired. Uh, so, of course, I did get up on occasion to check the mailbox. No mail at 2.30, no mail at 3 o'clock. No mail. The mail finally came in at 3.30, and now the check wasn't in there. Just a credit card bill. Uh, so, in one sense, I think Mother and Father God are trying to tell me something like the fines would say, a cool it. In this case, snow it. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it was a, a wonderful opportunity to finally feel that things are going to be okay. Even if it's not really is. I was hoping to have the money today, but since it came at three, th since the regular meal came at three thirty, if the meal comes tomorrow at three thirty and the checks in the meal tomorrow, I barely have much time to go to the bank and deposit into the bank. But I do have time because the bank is right down the street, so I would be able to get to the bank and drop it in the, in the bring it down and fill a deposit slip out and bring it in and put it in the bank. It'll probably take what a day for it to clear. Um, so once I get the deposit slip, this is a, it's a state check. Those usually kill it instantly, so. And, uh, if that's the case, then I just go ahead and I take care of all the bills. I have lined up one by one, and we're all set. Now, I, um, also wanted to let you know that, um, as far as... What's my alternative, what's my choices um, for the computer system pair? Well, that's a good question. Um, I'm sure Loom's got her own answer to that. Not really. Okay, but I guess if you're going to ask me to give my personal answer. Um... There's two trade drives in consideration that we're talking about. Uh, both are used. Okay. One is a relatively simple drive. Um, it's HP Tape Store branded. I said Dell branded. So you can sell can buy Dell branded for a little bit more than the Tape Store. And um, it's... The point is that it's a physical drive, it's no loaders, there's no caddies, there's no computer electronics other than the ability to read, write, 
tape handle, end of tape, and beginning of tape markers, and things like that. So it will be less difficult to um, deal with it if something goes wrong. And um, Michelle said to me, well, you know, I still would like to have a, uh, a tape drive that could do some really awesome stuff. I still would like to have another you know, loader. But I said, well, you know, you've already got an older loader that's in pieces right now. But that drive was said, what is that it cost you $60? 55 actually, but okay. So, and then what happens if you get the same hardware, which is integrated with the controller for the changer and everything, and that drive controller has a problem, then you're going to have another pile of broken pieces that, that did not get fixed when you got the new drive. Um, the most important thing you need to do is to keep your computer backed up so that if something goes wrong, you can always get your life packed together like you did last time, thank goodness, and get everything working. So, we don't have all the answers. We don't have all the answers. Okay. But what we do know is that all of the stuff that's going on in our lives right now, um, it all will be sorted out somehow. Okay. Um, I'm talking about our personal issues. I'm not talking about the society issues, but even them are going to be solved too, aren't they? Yes. Okay, first of all, um, a couple of polling districts in, in counties in Texas realized that since the voting machines were not doing what they were supposed to be doing, they went back for a short time to paper ballots to make sure that um, people will still be able to get the early vote in. And... Um, oh. The cat has got his claws in me. Those kids are squeezing a little hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so, there's definitely concern that has been justified that the election um, is buggy. Okay. And no matter how you do it, no matter how you slice it, the good news is is that um, things will work out, but every person on that level needs to do their part and go to the polling place and vote. You need to go vote. Not going to change an election in a positive way or a negative way if you don't do that. Get out there and vote. Okay? If you are eligible to vote, do it. Vote. It's so easy that most people won't even have a major issue doing it. But make sure. If you get one of those electronic touchscreen voting machines, that it registers your choice of candidate, as Alex Jones has pointed out. Because some of these machines are deliberately getting them wrong. And you, you know what? I got a question. What's that? If you tap on Trump and you get Clinton, what happens if you Trump tap on Clinton? Do you get Trump? No, because that's not the way the machine's set up. Ah, okay. <laughs> that they say yeah, that was a great question. But uh no, I don't think it's set up that way. So make sure make long story short don't forget there's also 
People are... Oh, sorry, I'm just a little tired. Yeah, I know she's tired. She's been, like, up for... Well, I was sleeping for some. Yeah, but not as much as you would like. Not as much as I'd like, right? Um, please understand that in Connecticut, so we talk about, some people talk about voter selfies. I'm going to talk about this real quick. In Connecticut, they have no problem with voter selfies as long as they don't get out of hand. So if you seriously want to show your ballot results when you on Facebook and you're in Connecticut, that's great. I, I would do it. Um, but last time I brought my cell phone camera into the uh, polling place, it kind of got a little bit hopping mad because uh, they didn't really want uh, me to record people at the, the polls. And since I don't have my press pass because I didn't have the money to buy it, I can't record people inside the polls. I can record them outside the polling place and to ask them questions. But, you know, right now, my right foot is hurting a bit. And it's somewhat similar problem as it was with my left foot. Except... Uh, it's, it's got swelling, it's the same problem, it's got swelling on it, and it hurts, so I, I'm still walking, I'm still doing things, but, uh, I have to admit, walking to the polling place and back with a hurting foot is gonna suck. <laughs> Maybe you should go ahead and just do an absentee ballot. I think you have an excuse. No, because I said I was going to go there to cover it live. Oh. So I still got to cover it live, no matter what. Well, because I already committed myself to doing it. Right. So. That's where I stand with that. So, do you think we're going to have any more snow in the next few days? I did see one extended forecast that said potentially more snow. Um, is it going to be more snow? I can't say. Um, we will not have as cold of a night time lows as we did yesterday with the optimum condition for precipitation. So, uh, we may have more snow um, before Halloween or Samhain, but um, I would say at this point, um, the answer is no. I don't think we're going to have any more snow until after Halloween. But you did keep your suggestion that you would get snow before that's right, I did. <laughs> and, um, and I'm very happy to see that I am still quite good at my predictions and uh, here for, Northern, for Southern New England. And, um, and I'm really happy to see the snow. It's like a fine um, sugar glaze if you will, on the roads. It wasn't so heavy that they had to cold the plows, but it was not so light as of to not at least make the roads white, at least a little bit. Anyway, so uh, I'm really happy to see that. And it means I still got it. She still got it. Um, tomorrow, of course, is Friday, and the soup kitchen, of course, is open. Um, also, Saturday is the last Saturday of the month of October. The soup kitchen will not be open. Um, the, please also be aware that November 18th, the soup kitchen is having its Thanksgiving dinner. And on Thanksgiving week, 
on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they will not be open. Okay. And the Christmas dinner, I do have the information now, will be December 23rd. So it's kind of interesting that they're actually um, open uh, pretty much right, almost, I would think, right after Christmas Day. But I'll have to double check the calendar. Probably not because... Um, I would, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be open right after Christmas Day. Okay. I, you may be right. So I will check the calendar and let you know. Because if they're having, don't forget also we are going to be having the 2016 Yule Convocation on December 21st and that. Uh, last year we were going to have it outside, but the weather was just a little bit, because uh, of the excessive wind, was going to be a bit of a problem. And uh, so, depending on how the weather is this year, uh, maybe we'll have a convocation outside. But, can't say until then. So I'll let you know closer to this Yule, if it's going to be inside or outside, and uh, things like that. And of course, when the renter's rebate does come in, um, we will take care of the bills. And um, for a possibly, it is possible that as of Saturday, the cell phone will be temporarily out of service. Please do not panic. I will take care of that as soon as I can. Um, since the soup kitchen is not open this Saturday anyway, it should not necessarily, uh, make a significant issue for the, um, matter at hand of the, um, getting any vlogs in from the soup kitchen. Because I don't do vlogs usually on the weekends, um, from home. But, um... So don't worry about it. We'll do everything we can to get things straightened out within a reasonable period of time. And uh, and that's the good news. So don't worry. Don't panic. Don't don't think something's wrong because I didn't do a, a vlog or something for a few days. Um, I, I didn't do one today because I just didn't feel up to doing a vlog. I didn't do one yesterday because I didn't feel like doing a vlog. I really is just a mostly just trade. So I decided to put go the vlogs and uh, I thought I would take the time to uh, do this video right here and that's what we're doing. So but um I guess that's about it for now. It's about it guys. So thank you very much for watching these videos and uh, I will talk to you soon and um, let you know how it goes. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.